Welcome to Awkward Family Photos. He's Doug. He's Mike. It's the most wonderful time of the year. We're filled with holiday spirit. And it's the perfect excuse for dad to get naked. This is the, the Christmas, Christmas episode. episode. So today we're going to be giving you five tips to taking an awkward family holiday photo. Number one, we've talked about matchy-matchy, but there's another level, and that's holiday matchy-matchy. For example, wearing bearded sweatshirts. Or clothing that can also be used as wrapping paper. Turquoise turtlenecks or turtlenecks. Candy cane striped onesies. Animal pelts. Swimwear. Sweaters that you'll be returning on December 26th. Speaking of sweaters, am I swimming in this or is it just me? I think it fits you perfectly. Oh, okay. Okay, tip number two. If you want to really raise your holiday spirit, then you can be the tree. Or have your whole family be the trees. If you can't wear the tree, you can form a human tree. And if you don't have enough people to form a human tree, then simply tie yourself to the tree. And if you don't want anything to do with the tree, then you can be the presents. Tip number three, the inappropriate Santa. Now you're gonna be looking for a Santa that could potentially be a felon. So things to look out for. A black eye. Tattoos are a telltale sign. Shiny black gloves, always a giveaway. They're probably gonna end up in a dumpster. A Santa that specializes in balloon animals. You know, I think that one's an elephant. I think you're right. And a Santa that chooses to take a cigarette break while you're still sitting on his lap. Tip number four, have dad go topless. Have him go bottomless. Or go full Monty with the whole family. This is the last one, tip number five, and this is one of the oldest awkward holiday traditions, pee in your pants. This is called the on top of Santa's lap pee. This is the holiday portrait pee. And finally, there's something that is known as the I didn't shake well enough pee, AKA the dribble, otherwise known as a small amount of urine escaped from my urethra. Today is the holiday episode. We're talking about people's most awkward holiday photos. Uh, you sent in a classic, classic awkward holiday family photo uh, that we love to call the dribbler. We're dying to know exactly how this photo happened. So this particular thing was, uh, you know, it was Christmas time, obviously. It was my mom, my sister, my grandmother from Long Island was visiting. Every time she was over, it's uh, time to take a picture, time to take a picture. So uh, it was time to take the picture, and uh, I, apparently I had been going to the bathroom just before. Uh, probably was in a rush, and uh, that, uh, so then the picture happened that you see. And uh, I guess it was maybe like you know, a couple months later when I, uh, you know, going through her pictures that she had brought at the time, and I noticed it, and I was like, Graham, I mean, why didn't you tell me? And she's like, Oh, it's hardly noticeable, hardly noticeable, but uh, it's pretty noticeable, as you, as you can see. How, how, did your, how did your mother feel about this? How did your family feel about it? Now, luckily, they have a good sense of humor, too. Uh, my mom has a great sense of humor. She, she thinks it's funny. She tells people that she's the mother of the dribbler. My kids, I have two kids. I have a 14-year-old daughter and an 11-year-old son, and you know, they're not embarrassed by their dad as much as, you know, I, I, I live to just, like, let me, let me embarrass my kids the way my parents embarrassed me. But, no, they don't care. They, 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 they brought the picture to school. They showed it. They're excited about this uh, interview now, too. And, yeah. Jim, uh, are, you, are you still dribbling today? Well, uh, I, I'm definitely more conscious of uh, the situation. Like I think every time I you know stand in front of a urinal, the, the urinal, the dribbler comes to mind. But you know I'm still as lazy as I was back when I was 17, and it does it happens sometimes. Yeah. So <laughs> anybody so, who washes my clothes can tell you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here you go, guys. Here's your last caption contest. We're throwing up a photo right now. Leave your caption underneath the Christmas Bride in the comments below. Then come back to the Nerdist channel or awkwardfamilyphotos.com next week. We'll be announcing the winners right here. That's right, winners receive two Awkward Family Photos books signed. Finally, you know, this is the last show of the season, so we, uh, you know, we're not gonna get to see you guys again this year. We wanna thank you. Yes, uh, for, for being with us through all of this. And, and so we leave you uh, with this New Year's classic. 
May old acquaintance be forgot. There goes Mr. Old Yang sign. <laughs> Yang. What lesson can be uh, taken from this experience? I, I think you, you you nailed it right off the bat with uh, when you posted the picture. Uh, just please shake well. <laughs>